doctors. I, I went down to the doctors. This kid needs a doctor herself. You were to the doctors. Why look. does this happen every week to me? Never mind. That's just introducing the cast. Forget about that. What were you doing at the doctors, Olu? I had a dime stuck on my ear for six years. I had to get down and get it out. You had to get it out now? Certainly. Why? It's my birthday today. This is the first time I needed the money. Oh, this is your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. Well, now, wait a minute. This calls for something. I have it. Then I'll invite the two girls that we had to our party last year. I'll stop you right there. You're not going to invite those two girls you had at my well, party last year. Well, what's wrong with after that? After all, I don't want those girls at my party. Why not? I mean, after all, whenever there's two girls and you have them over to, oh. for a party or anything like that, and when we go to a show or anything, right away you say to me, you take this one over here. But and I'm always left with the other one, whether I want her or not. Oh, Sometimes no. you, don't know, you don't know how I feel. Sometimes I don't want that girl. Oh, well, and, no. And you always take the best look on Oh, no, let's no, not get it's personal. It's about time I had the best look on Let's not get personal. Yours was pretty. Oh, so what? Yours had teeth. Well, I... Huh? Yours had teeth, too. Did you see that tooth on mine? I, yes, I saw it. Mine had so much bridge work, every time I kissed her, I had to pay toll. I, look, never mind that now. This calls for a big celebration. Your birthday and everything. We'll throw a big party. Come on, let's go out and buy some stuff. A lot of presents? A lot of presents. Let's everything. go! Come on. Yeah, the boy. Come on. Knock on the landlord's door and invite him to the party. Why don't you? My hands are full. <laughs> Oh, Marie, you've been shopping. Well, Mother dear, let me help you with these bundles. Well, bless you, little heart. What are you... So, it's you. What do you mean by dragging all this junk in here? Mr. Fields, it's my birthday today and we're going to have a party. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going to have a party in this house. The last party you had, your broken down friends burned holes in my... Now, wait a minute. Hold it on, Mr. Fields. Oh, I mean, my I furniture. Just a minute. Why, they ruined the place. It took me two weeks to get the crumbs out of here. Now, wait a minute. There's going to be no crumbs at this party. You mean, but Abbott's folks aren't coming? Huh. Hey, I heard that remark. Now, you keep my folks out. Oh, I'm sorry, Lou. It's your birthday. I didn't want to argue with you. Hey, uh, did you invite uh, the landlord to the party? That's what I was trying to do. Well, you go ahead and invite her. I'll go up and decorate the room. Okay. Mr. Fields, you are invited to my party. You're finally inviting me. You want me to bring a present, huh? Look, Mr. Field, a lot of people are going to bring me presents. You don't have to bring me no presents. I see. Everybody brings a present. You want me to come empty-handed. People should look at me and say, Sidney Fields is a cheapskate, huh? Sidney Fields is nothing but a dirty, broken-down tramp. Is that it? Look, Mr. Fields, you don't look like no tramp. You look nice. I don't, huh? My feet are coming through my shoes. My elbows are coming through my sleeves. Yeah, and your head is coming through your hair. <laughs> Tell everybody I'm bald-headed. Start a rumor. Make me ashamed to come to your party. Look, Mr. Fields, you don't have to be ashamed. You, nobody will even notice you. Oh, they're going to ignore me, huh? I'm not even fit to be associated with. People will be afraid to put their hands on me. No, they won't. I wouldn't even be afraid to touch you. Look, Take your you? filthy hands off, Mike. What are you trying to do, soft soap me? Now, look, Mr. Fields, don't get mad. Huh? Now, you, you can bring your kids to the party and they can eat anything they want. They can have plenty of food. They can eat anything they want. Sure, I can have my kids eat first, huh? Then if that broken down bad food you got doesn't give my kids toe mane, then the other people will eat it, huh? But he use my kids for guinea pigs. Say it, my kids are guinea pigs. Mr. Pigs. Fields, your kids are not guinea pigs. Oh, they're just plain pigs. Look, Mr. Fields, I never use the word pigs when I talk about anything like that. I use, like, swine. Oh, now you're dragging my wife in the yard. What's wrong with my wife? Mr. Fields, please let your wife out of this. Oh, my kids and I should come to a party and have fun, but my wife, she has to stay home alone, huh? Look, Mr. Fields, you can bring your wife to the party. She can come to the party? Yeah. But she can't eat, huh? She can eat. I'll give her anything she wants to eat. She can have meat, she can have potatoes with bread and butter and peas on the mashed potatoes and stick them in the mess. She can have anything she wants. No dessert. Oh, yes, we're going to have dessert. Apple pie. But no ice cream, huh? We're going to have ice cream. I'm going to put on apple pie. What flavor? <laughs> Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> Plain vanilla or what, anything particular? How about strawberry? I put strawberry on it. Oh, on strawberry. It. Yeah. Will it be real fruit or artificial flavor? This is going to be genuine strawberry. So, that kid, you know my wife is allergic to fresh strawberries. Every time she eats them, she starts scratching herself, scratching herself. Infection sets in. She sickens. Ambulances. Take her to the hospital. The doctors work on her day and night, day and night, but they can't save her. She's gone. I'm left alone. A widower with 11 children. Mr. Fields, I don't want you to be a widower. You don't want me to be a widower. You want me to live the 
rest of my life with that old hag, huh? You don't want me to go out with the boys and have fun, huh? And why? All because you ruined my life because you wanted to feed my wife fresh strawberry ice cream. Mr. Fields, your wife don't have to eat any ice cream. You said it. Nobody's going to push fresh strawberry ice cream down my wife's throat. That's what I'm here for. You said it. <laughs> Oh, you're in the kitchen, huh? What do you want? Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna make a little fudge. Oh, little fudge. swell, swell. The guests will be here most any minute now. Got to yeah. hustle up, too. I'll get ready. And a book. What's the matter? Hey, what? bud. What? Can you reach that syrup can for me? Can I reach it? Certainly I can reach it. <laughs> Mrs. Crumkey. Oh, I never miss a birthday party. And I never forget a birthday boy. <laughs> I have a little gift for you. Oh, isn't that nice? That's all for me. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that? Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh, don't you want to blow out the candle? Don't I have to make a wish? Yes. No, no, it's customary, Lou. Yeah, now take a great big deep breath and blow it right out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, come right over here and sit down, Mrs. Crumcake. Thank you. The rest you. of the guests will be here most any minute now. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Yes, thank, thank you. you. Happy birthday, Costello. Oh, no, not on your birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh I brought you a little present. And all the kids in the neighborhood just love it. It's a police whistle. A police whistle? Yes, sir. And a solid real one? brass. A real one? Yes, sir. I can play cops and robbers now. That's right. Oh, bang, bang, bang! <laughs> It don't work. Oh, no, it's an old one. It's the first one I had when I joined the force. But you'll have a lot of fun with it. Congratulations, Lou. Thank you, officer. <laughs> I said thank you. It's enough, thank you. I was making fudge and the syrup got stuck to oh, my you. hands. <laughs> Who is 
I'm drunk. <laughs> Why, Mr. Fields, come right in. <laughs> How do you do? Where's the funeral? <laughs> Where's the birthday boy? Now, there he is. Well, how are you? Thank you for inviting me to the party. I've got a little surprise for you. Brought you a little present. <laughs> Come here. I want to show you what I brought for you. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got for you. Hold it up to the light and peek through it. Mr. Fields! Isn't that something? Take another peek. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> well, look who's here. Happy birthday, Lewis. Guess what I brought you for your birthday? Uh, handkerchiefs with my initials on? Uh -uh. A necktie? Uh -uh. A watch? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> I won't keep you guessing any longer. Look, a beautiful comic book. No. Just the one I wanted. The one I asked him to pick up on the stands for me. Terry and the used car dealers. Oh, tonight. Tonight. What a night. Here we are. Sit down here. Huh? Thank you, brother. Hey, Lou. Yep? Are you fixing those orders? I'm making my famous Santa Pasta orders. <laughs> that a boy. Are they almost ready? They're all ready. Well, serve them to the folks. I have myself. It's your birthday, you know, kid. I'll serve the drinks. Thank you, Lewis. My famous hint of pasta. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Lewis. You're welcome. I think I'll have one myself. <laughs> oh, 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 fine. <laughs> Aren't they good? Prosper! <laughs> Well, you clumsy ox decided any way to treat your guests. What's the matter with you? Go away. Will you have a drink? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's your good health? Perfect. <laughs> trying to do poison everybody i'll have you out of this house i'll throw you oh. out of here oh get me a doctor oh. what did you put on those crackers buddy my famous santa pasta i made it the same i had 22 of them i feel good are you sure i'm positive come here now let me see your antipasto where is it yeah. i and paste <laughs> what? what in the world did you do I don't read so good. That's no excuse. What are you trying to do, poison your friends? And I don't feel so good myself. That's the last straw. You'll never do anything like this to me again. Now get out of here. Get out of this room and stay out. You get out of the building. You want me to go? Get out. You mean we're not together anymore? Don't ever link my name with yours again. Now get out of here. Come on. All right. Take that off. That, there. That's my shirt. I have use it. Get out of here. Get out. Go on, get out of here. Fine pal you are. Get out that door, don't ever darken it again. Get out of the belly. Go on, get out, go on, get out, go on, get out. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad boy. No, you're not a bad boy. You're a good boy. You just don't think. You become confused and involved, and the first thing you know, everything's in an uproar. Why don't you try harder? I will. I will. Lewis. A happy birthday again. Thanks. You. Why, you little overstocked runt! Try to make me sick and everybody in this building sick. 
No, I'm telling you, and I'm telling you for the last time, get out of this neighborhood and stay out! Don't you open your mouth! Get out of here! You heard me! Get out! Nobody loves me, and that policeman, that's one guy, a policeman, I don't understand it. You, he's supposed to be a boy's best friend, just like a dog. Scout, I could still do my good deed. Madam, may I escort you across the street and through the traffic? Please. Have no fear. You're in trusty arms. Madam, it was a pleasure to be of service to you. You don't? I didn't want to cross the street. What's the matter, madam? Oh, he made drag me across the street, and I didn't want to be on this side. What's the matter with you? It's not enough bothering everybody else in the neighborhood. Now you got to pick on an old lady. I told you to get out of this neighborhood, and I mean it. I'm sorry. You broke my cane. <laughs> Huh? Now you get out of this neighborhood! Why don't you go home and sober up? I gave you a warning signal. You're a dangerous pedestrian, that's what you are. Why don't you pick on somebody your size? Birthday cakes. And it's my birthday today, too. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get me a nice birthday cake. And I don't care if nobody comes to my party. I'll have a party by myself. Why, look at these. I don't look out of your face a long time. Come with our boss. Hey. Hello, Mr. Bachelob. What's the matter? Do you my, have a thing for you? No, it's my birthday today. It's your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Thank you, Mr. Bachelob. Look, I would like a nice cake for my birthday party. Birthday cake? Well, you're coming for the right to place. How you like this one? No, it's a nice cake, but it's a little too small for mine. Too small? I want a big birthday you cake. You like this one? Isn't much big, Angie. This here one? Yeah. No, this. You're a better boy. Not touching the cake. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Bachikalu. Uh huh. No, I don't like the taste of that one anyway. And that's too small, Mr. I want a big one. A big cake, like about three feet by three feet. I want a big one. You don't want a cake. You want a bungalow, don't you? No, I don't want to live in it. I want to eat the cake. Bigger cake? Yeah. Three feet? Yeah, big one. A very big cake. I'm going to make I know you... this is the best place to buy one. I'm going to make you the masterpiece. But for this, I'm going to need a lot of dough. You're going to need a lot of dough? A lot of dough. Oh. You, you want me to go out and get some? No, no. I got plenty of dough. But you see, I got to need them. The more dough I got them, the more I need them. Mr. Bachkloop, I don't understand. If you got a lot of dough, what do you need more for? When you need a lot of dough, you need them all the time. You understand? Well, that's what I said. If you want me to go, I'll get you some dough. No, no, no. Are you talking about money, Mr. Bachkloop? You no, got enough no. money right now. You're, you're the wealthy. Money's about another thing for doing for this thing. Uh, it's Mr. a thing. It's a dough. Mr. Bachkloop, it's my birthday today, and everybody's getting mean at me. Don't you, know you get mad at me too? Mr. Minow, then I'm gonna explain it to you once more. You see, the more dough I got, I mean, the more I need. You understand? That's what I'm saying. Now, you got a lot of dough and you need more. I ain't got a nickel, I ain't got nothing. I'm trying to have a happy birthday, that's all. All right. Relaxing yourself. Is it going to take about an hour? Now, you want to wait for me? You're going to go someplace. You're going to make me a big one? Big cake, the big, fat the cake. What do you look on it for your eyes? Oh, God. You want to wait or you want to go someplace? I'll wait right here. All right. You wait right there. I'll make you a cake. He's a nice man, Mr. Butcher Glue. Your cake is a finish. Oh, she's a beautiful, the most wonderful cake of what I make for my life. You want to see the cake? Yeah. Get your feet off of the counter! I'm sorry, Mr. Bosco. You got the cake ready? Yeah, I'm going to let you take a peek now. Good. Uh-huh. That's a nice cake, ain't it? Uh, that's an awful flat-looking cake. Flat? Where's the marshmallows in between the layers? I want, I want a layer of marshmallows in there. Ma, you don't told me you want a marshmallow. I want marshmallows in there. You gotta tell me you want a marshmallow before I make the cake. I don't got enough crystal ball. I want marshmallows in between the layers. Marshmallow you want, huh? Yeah. Was in before fatiga, huh? You like a marshmallow? You're gonna take about 15 minutes. You want a marshmallow? Yeah. Good about you know my enjoy gone. Marshmallow. Luigi, come on, look at your cake. She's a Phoenician now. Oh, it's a beautiful cake, ain't it? Oh, huh? that's white frosting. I want a pink frosting. Of course it's a white of pink frosting. I want pink frosting. You're not telling me you want a pink frosting. Well, I want pink frosting. Oh, get the boats in that cheese. Well, then you know what God I want to move. Is it going to take a five or more minutes now? You wait. I'm making me losing my temperature. Turn Go look at your cake now. Pink frosting. Huh? Oh, yes. Good, huh? You got pink frosting pink on it. Pink frosting. And you got the marshmallows in the layer. Got the marshmallow masterpiece. Where, where's my initials? Initials? My initials on I the cake. Initials. I want my initials on the cake. You must tell me you want initials. This is my birthday cake. I want initials on it. All right, I put it initials. Might be you like I put it the date that you was a bone. Yeah. Also, the date I'm going to kill you. Kill Maldi is going to take a five minutes now. You wait, huh? Uh, uh. Your cake is a finish now. Come on. Oh, the cake. I finish? All a finish. You want to come in the kitchen and look? Yeah. Where's your shoes? Oh. I'm in a box. Oh, put your shoes in a box. Come on in the kitchen. Look at the cake. Oh, Mr. Bachikaloop, that's the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. This cake, she's a fit for a king. Anybody's ask you where you get a this cake? You told them only one man to know how to make this kind of cake. Oh. But you got to... I can't huh? see the initials. I can't you see the initials. Come on up on the ladder. I'll show you the initials. Oh. Come on up here. This is mine? Yeah, isn't that oh. beautiful? Beautiful, huh? This is the most beautiful birthday cake a boy ever had. I got it in my truck outside. Where you want me to take it as a cake? I don't want you to take it no place, Mr. Bachigaloop. Get me some coffee. I'll eat it here. What kid of what's in that You didn't have a, a real jolly good time at your birthday party. I, I know the party wasn't, your party wasn't really a hit. But you made a big hit with the birthday cake. <laughs> yeah. What? 
I would like to say something to everybody in the audience, to everybody all over the world. Anybody that has a birthday, there they are. I want to say happy birthday to them. But I want to say happy birthday to me, too. Go right ahead, Lou. There's the folks watching in. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Louie. You certainly are screwy.